those of us and everybody at this table I put in this category who believe in a strong national defense know that we have got to force the body politic and the Pentagon to focus more on outputs and less on inputs, that we've got to basically figure out a way to ask not just how much are we spending, but what are we getting for what we're spending, and are we getting the bang for the buck for the warfighters that we should? The answer is no. And the reasons that have been articulated, there are three major reasons for that, and, and McKenzie and Clark and Gordon and Todd have all hit them on, hit on them in their various papers. The, the three big categories, I call them ticking time bombs in the defense budget, and basically, we, we know today, even for the mix, immense expense, we have the finest military in the world. There's no question about that. But the point is that if we don't make some of these fundamental changes in a decade, maybe a little bit longer, but certainly in about 15 years, we will not have the strongest military. We will not have a military as capable as the one we have today because these three ticking time bombs um, are eating away at the core of our defense capability, you know, it's a, as a slow bleeder, as you mentioned about the sequester. And the three are, first of all, DOD, so, so, so much, so why aren't we getting the output we should or the bang for the buck? First of all is DOD's massive and inefficient overhead, which if it was a gross domestic product at $218 billion a year, it would be the larger than the economy of the entire state of Israel where President Obama is visiting today. If you just look at the Office of the Secretary of Defense, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the combatant commands, and the defense agencies, these are almost, you could call them direct reports to the Secretary. They certainly report into OSD. Just in that one category alone of overhead, there's over 250,000 people, $116 billion a year. There's not a trigger puller in that lot. There's nobody with a, a sharp bayonet. Uh, in that group. So we've got more people in the rear with the gear than we have in the pointy end of the spear. Uh, 